Hello everyone, John Brooks here in the Paul Tiger Project. It's November 1st. Yesterday I received a little disturbing news. Two of the people that I had counted on in the past years to help me track all the wild animals out in this area I heard passed away. One was a man who we encountered in 2013. I only met him one time. 2013, we were just uh, walking through the, the jungles looking for tracks and we came across him tending his cattle. And so we asked him some questions and uh, about tigers, Zeke, Bach, Doc, Tok, Zeke, Tok, Bach. Those are the three names that they use sometimes. Um, and uh, he said yes, he had seen him, seen some in the area, uh, not recently, but um, in the past years. So then we pulled out a little field guide and said, and just showed him pictures and said, show me the animals you've seen. And then so we went through the pictures. And he came to the page with the head of tiger and a leopard on it. And he said, that's what I saw. And he pointed to the tiger, as you can see in this photograph here. Unwavering, no doubt whatsoever. I said, what about this other animal? He says, they're here too, but definitely this guy right here. Seen him several times. He says, not as recently. I asked him if he saw any scat in the area because I was trying to track them at the time. He says, no, I uh, haven't seen him around much this year. He said, there's a lot of cattlemen in the area and so the the uh, tigers and leopards tend to stay away when people are in the area this was in September 2013 he said but there are a lot of bears in the area so I asked him to point out which bears that he's seen in the past so he showed me the Asiatic black bear and he showed me the sloth bear and then I looked I, I pointed to the sloth bear and I said are you sure that you you've seen this animal here he says yeah no question he says we have two species of bears in the area. One is this black bear, and the other is what we call a climbing bear. Some people call it a tree bear. Uh, and he, he said they both will come down this time of year and raid the corn uh, from the farmers before they go into hibernation. He said the sloth bear doesn't eat as much. The, the, the black bear will just cause all kind of destruction. He says, but they're both are very dangerous, and you need to be careful. So, I... Maybe there's sloth bears up here too. All the literature says no, but the literature says that tigers aren't in the area either. So we're going to follow up on that. Anyway, he apparently uh, died in the earthquake that happened earlier this earlier this year. Um, house fell on him. So uh, condolences to his family. He also mentioned two trackers when he was talking about the bears uh, and the tigers. He said uh, he said tigers are very very hard to track in this area just because of the topography, the layout of the land. He said bears are a little bit easier. He says there's two old guys that used to, you know, poach. Uh, he says they're very good trackers. If you can get a hold of them, you might have a chance of, of, of tracking down the tigers. Still looking for those guys. I'd ask the shepherd people that I'm working with to try to find them, um, and they haven't done anything yet. Um, it's, it's difficult to work with shepherd people. I mean, they're, they're, if you're here, They'll totally, they're with you 100%. They'll do exactly what you need. But if you're not here, your project kind of gets put on the back burner. So I don't know if those guys are still alive or in the area or not. I, I don't know. Still going to try to look for them this year. 